because I think that's going to be, or it could be, a bit of an issue. This is the uh, interesting bit. Is that the waste of the trap? That's the waste of the yeah, So it's on a copper trap. Square that arch off, lose this nib, so you can walk in here, step down into the shower. We're at uni like uh, Alex is up in his office there. There we go, look. First ever uni like Lego with Walking. Over like that. Right, welcome back to the channel. First of all, I want to say thanks to everyone for subscribing. We're now over eight thousand subscribers which is mega so so pleased with that that's right i'm just trying to negotiate an island i shouldn't really be gassing away to you lot while trying to get around an island uh yeah so thanks everyone for that any new subscribers to the channel welcome aboard i'm mark from mj tiff and heating as you're probably aware um right today i'm just i've just met up with my chippy he's behind me in the van we're going to look at a job and i wanted to take you along to show you this job and how I look at a job and and sort of gauge what they want to do with the cut with the, the the bathroom they want. And this one's quite interesting because the normal basin and toilet, but the bath you'll see in a minute when I, when I go on to it, the bath is sunk down into the floor. So from memory, what they want to do is take the bath out and have a walk down shower, if that makes sense. They want to walk in and drop down into the shower. Um, so I've got Mark my chippy behind me. Um, just to go through how the joists are and stuff like that, I'm not sure um, how we're going to be able to do it. But like I always say to customers, you can have anything you want, it's just cost. So we'll go and have a look, but I want Mark's opinion on it. Um, just because I've never done one like this before, that's why I'm pretty keen to get it because I think it'll be a great, a great bathroom when we're done. So I'm just going to pull in now and make sure they're all right with me filming us chatting away and uh, I'll be right back with you in a moment. Yeah, good, good shows actually. What uh, are they, plumbing shows? Or? The first one was a tall fair, yeah. the second one was a plumbing show. Morning. How are we doing? Morning. All right. Morning. Are you all right with me filming? Hang on, yeah. I just <laughs> want to film it, Grant, because Let's it's... Get the little one out of the way. Yeah, yeah, I want to film it because it's dead good with the bath sunk okay, in. Yeah, and just as a view good. of how I go about looking at a job yeah, to no, do it, is that right? What, what just in there, you mean? Yeah, just oh, yeah, yeah. you know when we're chatting about it and stuff like say, that. We we yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not doing. I'm not, it's not like it's arms through the ammo. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's just when we're in there chatting yeah, about no, stuff. Let's well, quick look around. Right, yeah. this is that bathroom I was on about. So, toilet and sink. By the by, that's not a problem. This is the uh, interesting bit. Basically, Grant wants to, if we can, form this into a walk-in shower. So we walk down and in, but what you may see with this house, I won't go too far, but here, can you see out of the window? Here, the levels of the house drop down. So it basically comes in and drops down into this room here. So I'm not sure how they've sort of done it. Let's get some light on here. So what me and Mark are gonna do from a pricing up perspective is Take a look at this, speak to Grant, see what they want to do exactly with it, and just look at how we're going to resolve or make that bath accessible to turn into a shower, if that makes sense. So I'll pop the camera aside and we can just record the whole lot of how we're going about it. Yeah, so you see what I want to do? So, the initial, so that isn't the issue, they're, they're, yes, they're by the by. But obviously the depth of that yeah, so you've got, it's going to be... You've got four, 400 bath, haven't you? Yeah. Plus... But we can see underneath that bath in a minute. Grant will show us. There's an access panel downstairs where you can get okay. underneath that bath. But what they ideally wanted was a couple of steps down here and then into the shower. Right. Oh, sorry, sorry, what you get there? Because we can't take this roof up. Right. Because of the way that the house is, that this side is dropped down. Yeah. I tried to poke my head have a look, but the, 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 the joists are too... <sighs> too narrow. Yeah. So then underneath, we've got... Oh, mate. 
So we can sort of oh, see. Yes. This is under where the bath is. See what? But, uh, but you see them blocks there. They've cut it into the block work, haven't they? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, that's the level. So that's the level coming down off that wall. Wall just to the right hand side at the end of the bath. Yeah. There's a good solid framework there, you see, all the way around. And that's on joists as well. Yeah. So what we'd have to do is build up the same again on a 3v2 or a 4v2 frame. Because it only comes, where's the edge of the bath? Here, it's so here. it's to there, isn't it's it? It's there, yeah. So we could repli replicate that, yeah. build a box inside there yeah. to the short size of the tray. Got yeah. Got off, yeah. Off this. We can board this over. Leave the hole for your, your waste and everything for access for the shower. Yeah, because that is that the waste for the bath? That's the waste for the yeah. bath. So it? it's on a copper trap off the bottom of the bath into here. So we can come off that. that the, the waste isn't a problem going yeah. into the bottom of the tray. So that, that joist there, where we've seen our stairs, yeah. take this out. Yeah. And then the bottom of that bath is 300 mil up. Yeah. So we can build a frame off that and set our shower tray wherever we want to get the height for yeah because that's the thing that's the thing we can't lift that ceiling any higher yeah. hence why the bath's in there in the first place yeah. to get rid of that that's, so, that's only false take that off to that level yeah cut yeah, that yeah across there that's solid cut that all the way across there and square it off yeah bring that up there and bring so that ceiling will effectively come out and yeah so it's just one so you've just got a one shape because that will only be a formed edge. Yeah, so we can take that off across yeah. there, down. Down. Yeah, that's solid, isn't it? Yeah. So that's your governing point there. That's your point there. Yeah. Then they want it. So if we, we're doing that, we can have a glass screen here. Yeah. And then so just work out how much of an opening he wants yeah. here. Yeah, it all depends on the size of the track, do not it? Yeah. So what we can look at doing is getting this, getting this bath out and then building that framework underneath taking the edge of it off here so we then sunk the tray down access into this tray here and then form some sort of steps going down into it it's just we've got to see whether we've got the width to get the tray in there so there we go a quick walk round of what we're sort of proposing with grant then is to take this out alter the floor underneath however we need to do it um, square that arch off Square that arch off, lose this nib, and re tile or uh, re skim that. Tile inside there when it's done. The glass screen to sort of here, so you can walk in here, step down into the shower, uh, re skim the ceiling, new spots, extractor. Um, again, you probably see a lot on these builds, especially the newish builds, is they just build these boxings out to cover the. Uh, cover the saw pipe and the waste pipes. So what we could do with this is drop this back so he's only got a nib of there because he's going to have vanity units in there anyway which will cover the wastes and stuff. So we'll look at doing that. He's going to have a look at what vanities he wants and then I'll go and price them up and just a standard column tile rail on there. Tiled floor, um, tiles around there so Grant's going to go look at the tiles. But yeah, that's roughly the process of going through it. So I brought Mark along just to, to check the, the, the joists and the stud work out that's underneath there. So we'll uh, have a chat with Grant now and go from there. Right, so that was a nice little insight into just how I go when I go into someone's house just to have a look at a bathroom. Uh, I know Grant anyway, and I've been to that job before, but I just thought it'd be good to take you in, show you exactly what we look at what we price up for um i mean i've been doing it years so just looking at it i know whereabouts we're going to be with tiles and units and skimming walls and stuff like that so but it was just a a case of showing you um the process of going in especially with mark the chippy and having a look under that bath because i think that's going to be or it could be a bit of an issue but we're not like i said to grant we're not going to know i can give him a rough ballpoint figure um but until we get the bath out, we're not going to 100% know. But I hope you like that little insight into it a little bit. Uh, right, now I'm going to shoot back over now to install the show for a couple of hours. Got to pick some bits up that I ordered on Tuesday. So we're going straight from there over to Unilite HQ 
to film uh, the Trade Legends podcast with Alex from Unilight, Pete, PB Plumber, and Alex from, I think it's Wood, Wood Plumbing and Heating, off the top of my head, I'll double check that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it, it'll be a good, good, good laugh I think. So, we'll head over there now. Inst right, so I just swung in to install the show for a little bit, and now, as you may see in the background, we're at Unilight. Uh, Alex is up in his office there, and there's one reason we're here at Unilight, is to do the Trade Legends podcast. Right, so, just got come inside, uh, just met up with Alex, and uh, introduced me to the team behind the Unilight lot, um, and he's just took me in. Here he is, look, Yay. getting prepping, ready. Jack's here, monitoring stuff. There we go, look. Um, Alex said a lot of people say it's, uh, it's a lot smaller than it looks on the... Uh, on the TV, but but you see sort of that view of it, and then if you spin it round, you've got the acoustic stuff. Yeah, it's where the magic happens. It's magic, isn't it? Uh, or is it just smoke and mirrors? I just it's all computer based. I don't know. I don't, I don't touch <laughs> you just see that green button? It just hits that. that just and away we go. Yeah, it's proper smile. I'm looking forward to it. So we're just waiting for uh, Alex to get here, PB to get here. We're going to go and do some. Uh, laps and stuff like that on the uh, Xbox. I've been trying to find out what course, what car, and what uh, what course, what car, and some other bits to find out exactly what it was, but everyone stayed hush. Is that the old, that the original log? Uh, the yeah, original yeah, sign? That's, that's the first, first ever Union Lock logo with the hyphen, which confused people. How can that confuse people? <laughs> it's not hard, is it? Hyphen? What do you mean dash? What? Yeah. I don't even know what it says. So did it affect you then, Alex, the whole COVID thing? Uh, a little bit. I mean, in terms of trying to get stuff out. I mean, what's worse is that it wasn't so much COVID. There was a big battery fire in Shanghai. After that, there was one um, in Ningbo as well. So another port that we use. And then we tried to send stuff to Guangzhou to get it out of Guangzhou. And there was a COVID outbreak. Apart from that, it's affected us in the price, that, like the price of the container. Yeah. I was talking to Bundy about it last time. But this is the thing that I've been trying to explain to customers about like the price of stuff. And why yeah. It's gonna, yeah. Yeah. You know, because it's sort of like it's costing me before I've even got something here, like yeah. twenty thousand US dollars. So there you go. When you're grabbing your uni light stuff or dropping on the uh, dropping online and ordering it, it's coming from at some point here. Massive old warehouse. And this is the bit that people don't see. They see the nice little podcast. They see the nice little. Uh, videos that Alex and the team do, but you don't see this little lot here. Hey! So then we go upstairs. Into Carry the, on. Yeah. <laughs> go upstairs into the bedroom. Yeah, mate. They do all right. Yeah, mate. Get this story on camera. I've, I've heard <laughs> half of it. She drapes herself on the bed, and I start doing. The TV did need tuning in. <laughs> so okay, is, this, is this back when you had to tune the TV? It was about it was four years ago. Got got auto -tune, tune, yeah. So I did the TV, and as I'm doing that, she's like on lying on the bed. She's going, "Oh, has anyone ever come on to you at work?" And I'm like, "No, because I'm really shy and I'm bright red." <laughs> <laughs> did the TV. I was like, "Right, that's sorted." So then she goes to walk downstairs, and I'm behind her. She stopped while I was walking. Bent over like that, and I walked straight into her. No, uh, yeah. so so. Was she fit? Weird. She was gorgeous. Uh, I literally <laughs> ran everyone I knew and was turning. <laughs> no, guys, 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 you never guess what? And everyone's like, "Did you smash her?" No. no. Ah! Oh, <laughs> check out this, my new copper dog bowl. Yeah. So I was on the um, lawn. Why, why have you dressed to me? What's that, like a cap end? That's a, a cap end for a 104 mil copper pipe. That's 50 quid's worth there. Why have you what? dressed to match it? Like, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> For awarded for Peter Boot for life changing generosity. That's a nice one. Yeah, that was, that was nice. What are you doing? Oh, 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 it's lively, isn't it? I don't have a mouth for you. Get your lips ready, get your lips ready. What's that? What's your ex? It's quite decent, mate, but I can only play FIFA. No, yeah, you blame fucking Ren and Joe for that. I'll just tag something, it'll be all over it. Oh, don't show it, it's going everywhere. Mark's, Mark's just done this. Yeah. He says, film everything. Every Content is king. Film everything and get rid of the shit you don't need. Yeah. So, but there'll be a little diamond nugget in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Pete's like, yeah, that's me. Speaking yeah. of nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. There we go. Pete, the nugget, nu Pete the nugget booth. Fuck up. <laughs> that was my thing. You know, a few lads went out on the piss and football orientated and all that. So I went the other way, car way. Um, it sort of kept me on the straight and narrow to a degree, 
you know, weren't spending the money on beer and this, that, and it was just all about. It's expensive for me, that, isn't it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, hope you enjoyed that. Just finished filming and recording the Trade Legends podcast. What a night. Good laugh. Real good laugh. Thanks to Alex from Unilight and Trade Legends for inviting me on. Thanks to Pete for hosting it with him. And a shout out to Alex Woodward who recorded it with me. So um, I think it's going out the tail end of October. Um, I shall let you know. And I'm sure, well, I know for a fact, Trey Legends will be putting some teasers out there for it. Um, so, A, if you haven't subscribed to the Trade Legends um, YouTube channel, get on that. Some brilliant podcasts to come. Uh, and obviously the one we've just done. Um, and get and fo get following them on Instagram as well. And I shall see you all on Wednesday. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Comment below.